It's 10 o'clock, just an hour left of the January transfer window. My word, has this been a dramatic day. Not just because of the transfers, but also because on the pitch there have been stories galore this evening. New Everton signing, Darren Gibson has scored tonight for them to beat the league leaders, Manchester City. Chelsea have been held to a 1 1 draw at Swansea. What a season the Swans are having. Joseph is still rescuing the Blues after Scott Sinclair had put the uh, Swans ahead. New signing, Gary Cahill did not start tonight for Chelsea nor did John Terry and Ashley Cole was sent off and a year to the day after making all the headlines after shattering the British transfer record and after being offered around to rival clubs by Liverpool Andy Carroll scores one makes two in the club's stunning win at Wolverhampton Wanderers for full details of all of those games on the Nora Football website make sure you log on for all of the stories coming out of those clubs let's get on to the transfers and Bolton they're in for the Watford forward uh, Marvin Sordell time running out for them to do that particular deal the striker Nikita Jelovic the score uh, signed for Everton 5.5 million pound deal from Rangers a good day all round as far as Everton are concerned Manchester United they've signed a Swiss 19 year old defender Frederick Vesely from Manchester City a very talented player indeed Fulham understood to have completed a deal uh, to sign the Portsmouth wide man Ryan Williams he's 8 he can play on either wing, and he's the younger brother of the Borough defender Rhys Williams. QPR, they are trying to sign Bobby Zamora from Fulham, but that move is in the balance as they're haggling over personal terms. And we've got some more details on Roman Pavlyuchenko's move to Locomotive Moscow because we initially believed it was for around about £8 million. Now we think it's closer to £11 million. Sticking with Spurs, and we're hearing reports from Italy that Juventus winger Milos Krasic has turned down the move to White Hart Lane after the two clubs agreed if he got no idea why because his club have been offering him around Europe for over a week but he says he doesn't want to go to Tottenham and that deal could spell bad news for Everton uh, they wanted to take Stephen Pienaar back to Goodison Spurs wanted to get Krasic in before they let Pienaar go um, <clears throat> excuse me we're also going to bring you details of the quotes from the Barcelona coach Pep Guardiola we talked about him earlier he's been talking about why he decided not to sign the Manchester City striker Carlos Tevez. Guardiola said, Tevez, we thought about it, the option, but I value the academy a lot and we'll count on those young players to take the club forward. Now remember, Tevez can now not sign for either AC Milan or Inter Milan as the Italian window has now closed. So unless his many advisors come pull a rabbit out of the hat, he will now stay at Manchester City. There is still time for something dramatic, however. We'll see if that happens. There is more from Deadline Day on the Football Spy Show at 11 o'clock. We'll see you then.